ていますね危険ですから信号線の内側に下がってお待ちくださいまもなく上り普通が到着いたします危険ですから信号線の内側に下がってお待ちください
Happy hump day. Um, did anyone hear the beginning of Ocean Avenue play by accident? I accidentally clicked on my friend who was playing it on Spotify, so I'm not sure if anyone heard that like happened in the intro. But the opening guitar of Ocean Avenue started playing. Um, but yeah, hope everyone is uh, having a wonderful Wednesday. I'm very full. I just had a thick boy lunch because I forgot to eat breakfast. I've been cutting out. I've been stopping meals around like eight or nine at night so I can stop eating late at night. I'm trying to eat healthier. You know, I've been watching carbs pretty closely. I've been watching sugars. I say that, but I had two cookies last night, but you know, balance. Uh, yeah, been working, been working on the diet, been working on the diet a little bit, trying to, trying to cut those pounds, have a hot boy summer, if you will. Oh my, but El Seba, hello, Black Amber, Mr. High IQ, having a veggie burger, Ooh, fair, I love me, I love me some veggie burgers, big, uh, big impossible burger guy. Also, happy 6-9, guys, happy June 9, happy 6-9. How do I always come for the keyboard streams but leave hungry? Because we always talk about food. I literally took notes from Mr. Kim, Tim Keyless, and because I was feeling so full, I poured myself some cold brew to try to cut this as a digestive. I had two beef patties grilled to perfection on an artisanal sesame bun with pickles, lettuce, and secret sauce, aka a Big Mac. Fuck yeah. Dude, I've been craving a chopped cheese. I was walking back from the gym today, and I'm like, fuck, do I, do I, do I say fuck a diet and get a chopped cheese? Do I do it? But I did it. I stayed strong in the diet, so we're good. We're good. It's not even a diet. I'm just like watching what I eat, really. I'll probably end up like eating kind of like maybe treating myself this week. But I've been good so far. Like the last like I'd say uh, like six days, I've been pretty good. I've been I've been watching. I've been working on it. Ah, uh, why? But yeah, guys, we are today. We're building for Mr. King Ito. We are building a KB75 V2, one of my favorite keyboards with glorious pandas and uh. With glorious pandas on a brass plate. I think it's gonna sound lovely. Very excited. Chopped cheese are always in my mind. I miss my ock, dude. The place on my corner, I have two places like right around the corner for me that both make pretty good chopped cheese. It depends what I want though. Like, like some places have different stuff. Where's the good boy at? I think he's under the bed probably. I closed my door so he might be outside, but I didn't see him. So that usually means he's under my bed. Um, it is stupid hot in New York also. The last two days have been unreasonably hot like it's disgusting i walk outside and i feel like i'm melting yesterday was really bad um yesterday was really bad at one point it was thunder but at, at night it started raining because of the humidity it started thundering so loud at one point i walked in the living room because i thought there were gunshots and it was just thunder on top of thunder it was so loud <sighs> bro you're chilling when i'm when i was trying to lose weight a strict diet helped me so much to lose weight but over the long term i completely cut out all the sweets uh, I was never gonna last. No, I had to enjoy sweets just in moderation. It's exactly that. It's moderation. Like I'm probably going to like maybe Friday or Saturday. I think I might treat myself and go get like a chopped cheese and some sweets. But it's I'm like trying to like just make smarter choices. Like I have like cereal that stares me in my cabinet and I just have to ignore it. Um, hello, Mr. Sobbing Keyboards. How are you doing? Uh, in New York, it's been disgusting, and I have games for the whole week. Oof, that's brutal. I used to have rain. It passed. Uh, it was bad last week. I see. Lucky you for me, Moscow. Like it just skips summer straight to rain and thunderstorms. Like it's late September. Oh, that's brutal. Hello, Mr. Boy. Oh, good brother. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Give a shout out for Mr. Silent Keyboards, uh, Mr. Boy. Mr. Man, depending who you ask. Oh, my. El Seba, hello. Oh. Same in Ottawa, it hit 40 degrees Celsius, uh, which I think is 101. That's insane. That is like aggressively hot. God, that's insane. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been spicy tonight. I'm getting dinner with a friend tonight, and kind of apparently it might rain, like kind of same as yesterday. So I hope it doesn't, but we'll see. Um, like I said, it's just really hot in New York right now. So we'll see if it holds up. Cordos, hello. Cali Hot Beach, go burr, burr. I never really developed a sweet tooth because of allergies. I like envy you and I don't because I have the worst sweet tooth. Like I crave sweets at all points. Like that's why I had, literally I was full, but I, got, I had the chocolate rice cake with peanut butter because I was craving sweets so bad. I'm also big on like the chocolate vanilla layer puddings, like the jello puddings. I, uh, I'll get those because that's like a nice little like, that'll cut my little sweet tooth real quick. Um, I like doing that sometimes. 
Um, I have one left. I, have to, I desperately need to hit the grocery store. It's probably going to be tomorrow. I've been putting it off for too long. Um, I do need to go to the grocery store. Uh, we're, we're, we're at our wits end with groceries. I need to go restock. Mouth breather gang. Big mouth breather. Looking forward to this build. Yeah, I think this build's going to sound really good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, excited. I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to sound really good. I am literally a sucker for the KBD 75 V2. Saw the VOD last night after it happened. Another great podcast. Tim seemed like such a cocky guy when I first saw him on his stream for the first time. But in reality, he's such a scholar. This dude, we love dude, we love Tim. Tim is the furthest thing from cocky. Very, very down to earth, good friend. Nothing but great conversation with Tim. Um, I learned a ton about coffee. I actually just ran out of cold brew, so I'm gonna rebrew it again. When I rebrew whatever I have, um, I'm gonna do it um out or in the fridge this time instead of room temperature because then we'll see if it's any better, but Candies for life, I agree. Can we get a shout out for Mr. Jail Juby as well if we did not already? Uh, please, Mr. Boy. Juby, how did your uh, J01 build go, by the way? I'm jealous. I like the look of that board a lot. The only reason I honestly, I'm a big fan of the pen rack, of the pen rail, but the only reason I pass on it is because of price. What episode of One Piece are you at? I'm almost at 600. Um, Law and, um, Law and Chopper are about to infiltrate the building. Um, that's about the last thing that happened. Thank you. Don't worry about it. No, no need to mention. I didn't watch the VOD yet, but I bet the podcast was great. It was good. It was a really nice time. Um, yeah, we're pretty far into, into One Piece. I've been watching JoJo a good bit. Um, I've been watching JoJo a good bit. I haven't watched any anime really the last two days. Um, just cause usually when I've been going, I've been laying down around midnight and I usually just try to pass out then. So I, I've been trying to avoid staying up late, just binging shows. Cause I'm trying to like... I start a new job in about two weeks um, and I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back in order. I'm like intending to start waking up at 5.30 so I can go to the gym at six before I to, like leave for work. So it's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal, but I'm trying to like train myself to start waking up at 5.30 so I can go to the gym. Love Jojo Fave anime, it's so funny. It, it's absolutely bonkers, that show. It, it like, it took a little, it took, it took, it was a little easier getting into it this time around. And honestly, I think it's also the fact that I just want to, I want to understand all the memes of Jojo that is forcing me to keep watching. It, it's, it's entertaining. And like, I do enjoy it because at least it's so fast paced. Like it's quick. So it's like, it keeps you at least hooked to an extent. I'm not too into anime, but Jojo is still my favorite. It, it's hilarious. It's literally balls to the wall, that show at all points. It's, it's insane fast pace and then you get introduced to these like absolutely nuts characters that just go in and out of the show in three seconds like totally irrelevant in three seconds but like they are introduced as these like over the top characters and then just immediately off where are you at right now um so i'm in part two joseph is like trying to rescue um speedwagon uh and he just he's about to face off against uh the pillar man that's like right they haven't fought yet but they're about to face off what show I just got back? Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What part? I'm in part two. Um, yeah, it's jo Joseph is about to fight the Pillar Man. Uh, they just like fa they're like facing off right now. That's where I left off. Nice. You don't even know the gist of it. it it's it, it, kimchi. Whenever kimchi comes in, he'll he, he'll just say he's like, dude, he's like, you think you like this show, but you're not even in the good part yet, which gets me excited because I do enjoy it so far. It'll become more memeable. No, I, I'm sure. I also like uh, like Kimchi was talking about how everyone gets skinnier, but I love how in the beginning of the show everyone is a fucking beefcake, like an absolute beefcake. Every single one of them, literally, like just like muscles out the wazoo. No, I'm enjoying it. It's a it's a really fun show. It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to every every possible point, but I love it. Season three, they're still beefcakes. It's so funny. <laughs> Their gym motivation. I'll be in the gym, and like maybe I'll get like I did like I did a uh, back. I didn't do any cardio or like quarter day, so I'm a little disappointed. But I kind of wanted to get back and have enough time to eat and stream. Um, so I guess did lift, but like I'll like try to like stretch out a little bit after I've done a set. And I caught myself like I almost started. I'm like, I want to JoJo pose. I'm like, I guess want to like I guess want to like get into it a little. But I don't want to be that guy, so I don't. Um, because I do fear judgment. To a slight extent. To a slight extent. We are in spice of life now. Interesting. Um, yeah, though. I think I think we can keep talking JoJo, but I should probably start 
uh, putting this board together. Bro, Riv has me getting back into rollerblading. It's the best cardio. Rollerblading is fun. I need shit though, so I, 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 I can't bring myself to do it just yet. No, like, you're more than free to flex the stream whenever you want. I mean, listen, listen. Your boy, your boy's still like, I still got the, the belly. I'm still trying to lose the belly. That's like the goal here. My buddy made a joke to me. He's like, it's like, I think I'm like kind of muscular. Like I got like some muscle in my leg. I got a lot of muscle in my legs. I got some of my arms, my back and shoulders. But like, he's like, damn, like he looked me dead in the eye. He's like, dude, it really does just all go to your stomach. And I'm just like, like, you're right, but keep your voice down, man. Like, you don't have to say it so loud. The neighbors are going to hear. You don't have to say it so loud. Um, but I would say I, I do have the, uh, the, mu the, the muscles are, are still going. Running is overrated. I do, I do try. I'm actually, like, trying to get back into cardio a little bit. Like, trying to, like, get my, um, endurance back up. Strictly because in September, I'm thinking in the fall when COVID calms down and more people are vaccinated. I want to start playing soccer again, either indoor or outdoor, but I really, I played a lot of soccer in college, um, and I want to start playing again. I feel like Manoli is me for the future. It's like a good looking dude. Um, if, if I'm you, if you're me in the past, you, you sound like a good looking dude. Uh, but yeah, this is our, is our PCB or our plate? So this is our brass plate, we'll take a better look at this later, but you know, KBD 75 V2 brass plate. Is too high pitch or get on inks if there was one linear to use brass on i'd say it's i think brass i think inks on brass sounds really nice personally um it's really a preference thing but i like the sound of inks on brass i think that's one of the uh one of the linears that really gets that can really get away with it i just start hitting the university gym in the i want to start hitting the university gym in the fall there you go i'm mad so i went to towson university in baltimore literally the year i graduated is when they opened up their like new state-of-the-art gym i was so mad. i say this as if i worked out before but anyway we have the the silver model it's real quick to, to flaunt it a little bit but we'll look at this more later and we'll put the, the rest uh, i'll leave the we'll put the phone back in but i'll leave the plate out for now because we're gonna need that No wonder why your calves are so beautiful. Soccer makes perfect sense. Gerald, the reason my calves are so big is because I've been walking on my tiptoes subconsciously for like 26 years. That is the reason I, I have such big calves. I'm paying for the really nice gym in my school and just not using it. Oof. I just need to start doing exercises for my back. It really kills me every day. I've been like really focusing on my back a lot because my lower back, like I went on a hike two years ago and my lower back felt like I was 90 years old. Um, so that's one thing I've definitely been trying to put a lot of focus in is my back. Um, so hopefully, 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 uh, I can, I can handle hikes soon. It's been a while. I haven't done a good hike in a while. Um, I went to, uh, where did I go? What hike did I do? Um, I went to a national park, um, Shenandoah in Virginia. I think it's in Virginia. I believe it's in Virginia. Either way, I did Shenandoah. We went on two hikes there one day, like just for a day trip. And let me tell you, that is, we got to the top of the two mountains. It is the freshest air i've ever breathed like it's a strange it's a weird thing to say but i've never like breathed air like this like it, it is so refreshing at a national park like where you, you know everything is being like preserved and uh it, it, it was incredible i i guess i am hoping this summer to maybe take another trip out to maybe not that one maybe a different one because i haven't been i've only been to one um but it was incredible i would love to go to more national parks just to experience that uh it was really cool i sit I sit on work for eight hours, the whole back screams. See, that's like my problem. I was like talking with my dad about it. And he, he, he always says, especially with my profession, people sit a lot. I say this, I have a standing desk and I rate, I haven't been using it as much. Um, maybe we'll do a standing desk stream today. I actually have to go to the bathroom. So maybe when we get back, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll move. We'll do a standing desk stream. Um, but he's like, you guess he's like, especially with your profession, he's like, you sit a lot. And you sit all day and then you probably chill on your desk after. He's like, you got to make sure that you get up and get your exercise. Cause it's, it's true. Oh god, not back and leg pain. My legs aren't too bad. My back definitely gets pain. Oh, so, well, like, not as much these days, but I do get back pain. Um, when running. Why is it what I join? That's right here. I am gonna be right back. I know we just started. I'm gonna run to the bathroom really quick, uh, but I will be right back. Everyone behave.
Do I have returned? Are you still talking about our lower backs? Oh my. Hey, oh, no Manoli stream? Hell yeah, no Manoli stream. I did um talking talk about uh talking about uh, leg pain. I did legs yesterday for the first time in quite a bit. I haven't done legs in about two weeks because I think I like pulled something without realizing it. Um, so I haven't done um haven't done legs in a while. I did it yesterday and I literally thought I was gonna die. Hello, cute stream. Hello. Hello, man. No, but if you want me to talk about my lower back and legs. I mean, listen, legs, see, this is the thing, like, I kind of like leg day, I kind of like leg day, because that's, like, everything else, I'm pretty, like, whatever, I'm pretty, like, I wouldn't say I'm new, but, like, I'm, like, getting there, but, like, legs, I can flex a little. Oh, my entire back's peeling, that is brutal, sir, brutal. Ooh. This bad boy plug Baba in. Bowie. The Baba Boy. We speak about keys, legs, or boy. New what? What? <laughs> um. Let's see here. Let's test matrix. Uh. Yeah. Everything's looking good. I gotta do some clean. I gotta do some conditioning. Um. And only stars here for a little. Don't need to apologize. Thank you for being here in general. I appreciate it. Yeah, no need to apologize. I'm happy if you're here for any bit of time. I, lo I love having you all here. Yo, man, what playlist do you use? Command Lo-Fi. If you do Command Lo-Fi, um, some songs uh, still might get you in trouble. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but I think I've kind of narrowed it down for the most part. I don't. I haven't been muted in a little bit. And any songs that I have, I've deleted. Um, so I think my playlist is pretty solid, at least for streaming. I have not... I've never been, knock on wood, I've never been DMCA'd, um, but yeah, all the songs that I have on this playlist currently, have, I, I believe, will not get you muted, but, you know, who the hell knows. Is, is it on Spotify? If you do command lo-fi, it'll it is a Spotify playlist. It'll give you the link directly to my playlist. And you're more than you're more than welcome to use my playlist on your stream. I know several people. I know Pizza Force uses it on occasion when he streams. Okay, so it all lights up. Oh man, I'm sorry. No, 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 you're fine. No, no, you're fine. I I'm just like more letting you know so that way um, it is easier for you to like directly link to. Uh, yeah, command. That is the uh, the playlist for what I use for streaming. This is the one thing I like. The KB seventy five v two sick, but like, damn it, man! Like the PCB is insane. I just built my first build yesterday, man. Feels good. Ooh, what was your first build? I'd love to hear it. It's very exciting. Uh, also looks like we're all set. This PCB, thankfully, is all good. What kind of stab, uh, King, if you're here, what kind of stab, are these Duroc stabs? I've never seen Durocs with uh, black wires. These are really pretty. These are like very, very pretty stabs. I believe that's where I got them. Are they do? Are they do? It says Prime KB. I'm assuming they're do rock stabs. They look like them. I've just never seen black wires like this. They look. They look very nice. Um. So let me think. How many do we need here? I know we have one. Uh, two. We'll have one extra. And then obviously space bar. And then we'll put the extras aside. Pretty sure they are. Gotcha.
patient AR. Uh, if I should be lucky, I have to get my brush for Lubin. Moyu Queen switches, low profile Frosted Cook Cake, DZ60 solder version, and then die sub key catch KBD. Very nice. How do you like Queen switches? Um, I've yet to try them. Um, they do look very nice though. Let's get out my 205. Super lube and then some napkins. Uh, I'm waiting for parts as for now I only have a soldering iron and lube brush. Hey, good start. Them though, they are a little stem wobble and you have how to lube and spring or they sound all pingy, of course. That's nice though. Good to know. I thought they were very nice. I skipped on them just because I have a lot of. The only switch I'm considering getting right now is the Evo's is the EV00 switches um, off bespoke keys. I'm very tempted to grab them. I have the Evo 1 and the Evo 2. But these have um, I believe they're in collaboration with Thick Thock, who makes the marshmallows. I think these are gonna be like marshmallows. I don't know for sure. I don't know what the main differences are, if it's just a recolor or what, but I'm I think they're really cool looking and I think I might snag them and then probably H1s this summer I'm gonna be getting. But I am taking I have been taking a pretty solid break from buying switches uh, for a while now. Just because I, I have far too many. There's a battle between Dragon Fruits or Moyo Queens. I'm with Queens because I wanted to try new switches. Uh, something tells me you went with the right choice. If we're being totally honest here, I think you, uh, I think you made the right choice. So we are currently going to be putting on the inside housing and on the stems, we're going to be putting 205 grade zero Rytox lube. This is good for linear switches as well. Um, we're going to be doing this and then dielectric grease on the, <clears throat> excuse me, um, on the wires. I think I'm, I, I want to wait and do it on a personal build just because it, it's going to be new to me and I don't want to do it on someone's build unless they specifically request and ask me to but i do want to try the holy mod at some point i lube it is so clean i lube all 70 though that i ordered pain in the ass oh trust me lubing is probably my least favorite part of uh, any build um but unfortunately it is it is a necessity it is a necessity I spent too many time translating Russian to French on Google Translate. Are you Russian? Yandex Cloud at work. What's Yandex? Yandex? Yeah, I'm looking for course now. Any recommendations? Well, it depends. What are, what are you trying to uh, match it with? There's a lot of great artisan makers out there. Um, I like Bad Habit Caps, Wrath Caps, um, Mirito, uh, I think makes really, really nice caps. Uh, there's a lot of really good uh, artisan makers out there. It's the Russian Google, I see. I've got a Zenitsu build right now, so anything orange or yellow, I see. Ooh, very interesting. Um. Hey, you could check out new caps. I have a SpongeBob here that would match you. Um, yeah, it all it all really depends. There's a lot of you should just uh, check out if you check out uh, Alex Odos's website. Actually, he has a massive list of artisan makers. Um, if you want to check out different ones, because most artisans are done in uh, different like, like sets of runs and raffles for the most part. Occasionally, uh, fulfillment sales, but there's not a ton of artisan makers that are readily available. I saw Glorious hyping lube pandas now. Uh, you think they will be good? Or the same as the factory lube switch, aka bad still needs lube. Um, so what is it? Glorious pandas becoming factory lubed? Is that essentially what it is? This is my first time hearing about it. Um, if it's just Glorious pandas that are factory lubed, I'm going to go ahead on a long shot and say most likely 
it's just gonna be like any other factory loop switch that will need ex uh, extra lubing requ uh, regardless. I feel like it's really hard to to get a good factory loop switch. Um, I feel like it's borderline impossible. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but I feel like, like what switches have successfully done it? They just came out yesterday. Hmm. Like what switches, has there been any switches that you'd say successfully got the factory lubing right? Maybe pewters are really good stock. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's not a lot of switch. Like you, you, I feel like some people could make the argument that alpacas, boba, bobas don't really need lube though. I feel like. I feel like bobas don't really count. I don't know. Ooh, speaking of bobas, I'm trying to get my hands on a wrecked 1800 so I can, uh, and I want to build it with bobas and 67 gram long springs so I can, uh, take it to work with me because I don't want to take a, a, a loud boy in, but I want an 1800 for work. Dwarf Factory is great. They'll take a couple months to get to you, but Dwarf Factory is great. I have two of their keycaps. Um, I like Dwarf Factory's product a lot. I think they make really nice caps. They're a little, they're a little expensive. Eh, they're not even that expensive, actually. Yeah, this one's super cute. They're all really nice. I love Dwarf Factory. Let's get up to the dielectric. Recommendations for places to buy desk mats. There's a lot of places. Most websites that are running group buys um, will do desk mats. Um, there's an in stock one right now. On if you use command uh, sponsors and you click on the link, you can use my affiliate link. Um, but Space Cables right now just has an Alex, uh, right now has an Alex Odos desk mat that's uh, really lovely. Um, and that is in stock. Uh, if you use code Manoli, uh, unfortunately no discount, but I do get a nice little kickback, which I would appreciate. Check out Unspoken Desk Mat Pads. I've never heard of that company before. Um, Yukio, he's right now actually does have a, uh, is doing a, de uh, I believe an in stock desk mat. Um, I don't know how, if they're still available or not. Um, if you want to support an awesome artist, there's another artist and maker for Yukio Keys, a fantastic guy, a good friend of stream. Um, Novel Keys and Omnitype uh, sometimes have in stock desk mats. They might right now. Thank you, Enyo. Yeah, um, Ash Keys may have in stock desk mats. I'm not sure, uh, but if you they do, you can use code Manoli for seven percent off your order. I need some dielectric grease. Remind me. <laughs> we'll do. I do. Oh God. I, it does do. It does do the job well for what I need it for. But I do hate the feeling of dielectric, man. I think Omnitype Group Buy is shipping late. They might have in stock though. They do have um, Group Buy, but they may have in stock. Dixie has a lot of in stock. That's Omnitype. That's what I'm saying. And that's 77. If you use code Manoli on uh, on Ash Keebs, you get, I'm sorry, on Ash Keebs, you get 5% off your order. On 3D Keebs, you get 7% off your order if you use code Manoli, but that is also for non-group buy orders. Yeah, dielectric grease is pretty cheap. Um, especially, I've had this tube since probably like October, maybe. So it's probably October, maybe no, I'd say September actually. I've had this. Maybe even July. I've had this, I've had this tube forever. Um and it's still definitely got some life left in it. I mean, only using it for stab wires, it doesn't really use a lot. Like this still has a ton. This should last me forever. Yeah, I shouldn't say forever, but it should last me for quite a while. Um, and then of course plugging the butt. I love that lubricant 
use a rainbow flag as a brand. <laughs> nah, I gotta love Super Lube. I do want to try Dragon Ball Z Lube XBZ. I believe that's what it is. Um, but honestly, I, I guess heard such mixed things, and I just rather would not even. I would just rather not even spend the money if we're being totally honest. Close this up for now, and then get these screwed into place. Chipotle napkins. Uh, Chipotle, my. I wish Chipotle would just nut up and sponsor me. I honestly find it rude that they haven't already. XHT BDZ loop, yeah, that's it. Um, I have not tried it yet. I've heard mixed things about it. Um, and honestly, I'm happy with what Dielectric does uh, and how it gets the job done. So I, I just haven't even spent my money on it. If I if I were to get it from a client or uh, from a vendor to try out, uh, I'd be happy to. But for my own personal use, for, for my use, I'm good. Two bag. as well for the extra stab what color what color is the case e white as well i believe it is silver it's the silver color i'm pretty sure there might be an e i honestly have no idea there might be an e white um this one is silver though god dang it i do need to remagnetize this Yeah, no, you're not stupid. I don't I don't know if there is. Um because I believe there's definitely an e-white for the tofu, right? Yeah, I believe the KBD doesn't come in white. There's no e-white, gotcha. Yeah, I wasn't actually honestly that's a good question. I wasn't sure. I don't think there is knee white, at least I didn't see one. I would have gotten that one. I see. So you just got to take your case and get it anode yourself, and then you're good to go. So this might be a dumb question, isn't it? And this is something I could, I'm sure I could Google, but, like, what makes, like, why, how come it's never just white? Why is it E white? Like, what, like, what is the E? It's something that's always, I've always been kind of curious about, but I've also never taken the time to, like, really look into. What, what, why, why is it E white? And what makes E white so special? It's usually more expensive too, like by like 10 bucks or so. Usually a pricier option from what I've noticed. E coating, also known as elect electro deposition coating, is a method of painting that uses electrical current to deposit paint on a surface. The process works according to the principle that opposites attract. Interesting. So how come white has to be like that? Like how come there's no, is white just like such a tough color uh, to like get to be like a thick enough coat to like not show like raw aluminum through that they um, that they have to do it that way? Cause like I said, it's always e-white. I don't know, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, not to, more, more of a curiosity thing. I don't know. I, I've never, like I said, I've never like really done any research so I was never sure. Something funny for my language, the little translation for washer is used as a familiar word with asshole. Interesting. Well, it's white. If anything shows inconsistency and flaws, it would be white. That is true. Nope, that's very true. I'm slowly starting to learn how to touch 
Type in English, my only question is how the fuck are you doing this? I keep hitting Russian sound equivalents. Oh god. Don't even ask me. I, I just learned how to touch type back in like November and I'm not even good at it. Like I like don't even I'm like barely like hitting 100 words per minute sometimes. Player two, thank you for following. I really appreciate it. E yellow is a thing too. Now, uh, yeah, you're definitely right. I've definitely seen E yellow. I have definitely seen E yellow. You're definitely gonna hit 100 with this board. I'm well. I'm used to this board probably more. I had six months experience consistently with the KBD 75 E2. Getting into hobbies or trying to follow people that share it. Amazing. Well, you're more than welcome here. I, uh, I take a lot of pride in my community and the people that come into my stream. Everyone's usually pretty wholesome and likes to help out, and we have fun here. So welcome. Happy to have you. Uh, all right. Um, let's plug the butt. It might not need it, but let's plug the butt. I've been trying to find key caps with Russian English print still for rib. It's so hard. It's so hard to find specifically. <sighs> so this method, I believe, was coined by, uh, I shouldn't say coined, but was made popular by uh, Miss Minterly. What this is, it takes the back of the, you just take a little bit of dielectric and in the slot in the back of the stabilizer where the wire sits, uh, it just coats the back of it and fills and essentially plugs the butt uh, to get rid of any last bit of rattle that might be happening. Uh, you gotta be careful though, you don't wanna put too much or you will get a very wet or gummy feeling uh, stabilizer. No way, this looks like a keyboard, Mr. F.E. You'd be right. Told waiting on things that I'll that I'll likely never get and missing out on group buys is normal. I'm glad nobody. Oh, waiting waiting is half the fun of the keyboard hobby. That is the the famous saying. Waiting is half the fun uh, because you, most things are like three to like even like 15 month lead times. The waiting the waiting game for keyboards is unbeaten. Absolutely brutal if you ask me. I've kind of like lost a lot of interest recently. Like there's a couple sets I want, but I've lost a lot of interest in buying uh, at least GMK sets. There's a few that I'm like dead set on getting, but I've kind of started passing on a lot because uh, it's, if I really want them, I'm just gonna either try to pick up extras or buy and resell. But the fact that I have to wait <laughs> at this, the, the way things are looking, possibly 15 months ahead of time for keycaps is just absurd. I have the patience of a squirrel with a bladder infection, so I'm really not made for it. Oh, you're gonna love the keyboard hobby. That's all sarcasm. All right, let's uh, see how our stabilizers are. Do you have a favorite set aside from Evil Eye? Um, probably GMK Mizu, I'd say, is my favorite uh, keycap set. Um, I love GMK Mizu, at least that I own. I'd say GMK Mizu. Pavre, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Um, I love GMK Mizu. Um, Hanami Dango, Earth Tones are two sets I really love. Um, I really love, what other sets do I like? Uh, I really like the look of soya milk. Um, these are all I'm hoping hit the correct colors, but. Let me get black inks really quick to make sure. 
Let me get some inks out really quick because I can't tell. I had this issue with Pom Pandas. I can't tell if I'm hearing the switch or if I'm hearing the stabilizer. sound like yeah much better what do y'all think I'd love your opinions here's our space bar left shift Right, enter. Backspace. Not hearing any rattle. I think these, <laughs> as if there's a left enter. As if there's a left enter. I like the space bar, but I think the other key too light. Which one? Everything sound good to you guys? I don't think I'm picking up anything, but I think we're good. Nice blue compass arm. Big fan of the blue compass arm. That was an investment I was more than happy to make. Yeah, I think everything's sounding good. I, it, I think I'm honestly probably gonna keep these these switches in the. And I'm just gonna put them away. But. When in doubt, I just use it. This is the second time I've had to do this where I'll use black inks to test to make sure my, um, my stabilizers actually sound good. I returned from the dead. Hello, Mr. Boy. Yeah, I think we're good, though. You sound good to me. Nice. All right, let me close these. Throw that away. Do a little tidying up. Get rid of any possible excess loot that might be sitting. Nice. Sweet. All right, we're done with the dielectric. I'll be right back. Let me go wash my hands now that, I, now that I'm done using the grease, and we'll get started with the rest. I'm so excited for this. Me too. I think it's going to sound really nice. <sighs> All right. Let's move this a little more out. And we can get our brass plate ready to party. We'll move our solder. We're going to need to do it a little bit. Beauty of a plate. Big fan of brass plates. The way. There we go. Where do we get our soldering iron over here and ready? Nice. I get 
you heat it up. And we get our fan. Yeah, I think this, I think these switches on brass are gonna sound very nice. Just get our fan ready. Is the plate blocking the stabilizers on the space bar? It is not. It is not, it is all good here. Press usually also has a very nice snap to it. Ah, uh, I am, I did forget how heavy these switches have to get snapped in. Yeah, these are gonna, <laughs> my, my thumbs are gonna be hoarding by the end of this. Glorious pandas. Do not feel the best snap to snap in. You know what? I haven't used these in a while, but I'm gonna get these out. I got these after from suggestion from this uh from this tiny makes things. They are these like rubber thumbs. They're like fingy condoms, but they help uh they don't make your thumbs hurt as much. No, Glorious Pandas are uh, very tight in general. Alright. Hit, hit sub odd? Hit sub odd, my dumb. Thank you for following, I appreciate it. Yeah, these are going to be tough. Rubber thimbles, got it. Yeah, at least for <laughs> this build, it's going to be necessary for sure. And the main thing I'm doing here is just getting them placed and distributing weight. So at the very least, uh, this doesn't flex too much. Um, King, you did want, uh, let me check, actually, I can check our Discord DMs. You did want step cap, got it. Okay, so this, I guess, at least equally will distribute weight throughout the board before we solder it down. But we're gonna, we're gonna solder it down in a moment, at least these switches in a moment, just so we can, um, uh, give it a bit of a foothold for the rest of the switches. So I'm at least right now holding down um, the board just to make sure that it's all going to be sitting flush because we don't want any of these to like not like the switches not be down all the way anything like that. We're all finished making a batch of jackets plus trouser set and I'm just digging the insert colors I'll send tomorrow in Discord. It's just so nice. That sounds lovely. I'd love to see it. So we started with the four corners. Let me move the cat out of there. You're from lead team or not? It's the good. So Hello, Mr. Ding Dynasty. I'm gonna look at fresh today. Sheesh, honey. Thank you. How you doing, Ding Dynasty?
Sheesh. They get a sheesh in Chapelis. A big, a big old sheesh. Sheesh. I returned from my last meeting of the day. Venom honey. Yeah, but I hope everyone's having a lovely Wednesday. I have a question. What would you guys uh tomorrow? I don't think I don't believe I can do a build tomorrow. Um, I can loop switches. Uh, is there anything you guys would be interested in seeing on stream tomorrow? I, I am up. I'm open to suggestions. Is there anything you guys would be interested in seeing tomorrow on stream? Um, I'm always. I'm always. We can always loop switches. But if there's something different you guys would like, like there's always keep chores. do a build on the 11th why would i do a build on the 11th dumpy cam no always happy to chill we do love chilling i think these are all good all right nice a difference is comparison of all built boards you have on hand maybe that could be interesting just sip tea for a few hours. Also possible. Calf cam? No. You gotta pay for that. Hoping these all just go in smooth. We can do a chatting and get to know you. We always get to know me, though. I feel like, uh... What, what do you guys want to know about me? We can do that now. What do you what would you guys like to know about me? I feel like I'm pretty open on this channel. What did you say? Ah, oh, God, that was tough. It's a bit strange. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know about the calves. Sir, I have the best calves in the keyboard community. It is a, it is law. Oh my god, you are a tough bastard, huh? Oh. When did you stop wetting the bed? I never stop. That's why I wash my sheets every day. Social security number would be cool. My social security number is 123456789910. Very rare, very coveted. And with the three wacky numbers, same thing actually, 1 through 10. It's pretty nuts. A bathtub stream would be a better idea. Oh, geez. Could be the move. Could be the move. This looks like a struggle. Nah, you're good. What are you wearing on your fingy? This is a plastic thimble. I got this after seeing Tiny Makes things use it. Um, essentially, it just makes it not hurt as bad when snapping in tight uh, switches of tight housings. Like, I will use these a lot with inks. Um, Glorious Paint is 100%. I haven't used it in a while. I've kind of just dealt with it. But so every so often, like, switches like this are just... Oh, my God. I can't even get that one. Yeah, like, the like Glorious Pandas are typically very tight. Tell us your most embarrassing story that you can laugh about now. Ooh, I told, like, I told the, the story about my ex-girlfriend when I was when I was accidentally uh, rubbing her, for, uh, playing footsies with her friend without realizing it. I told that last time. Um, what's a good embarrassing story? Hmm. I don't know. What's a good embarrassing story? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I don't get too embarrassed in life. Um, I'm pretty, I pretty much own anything that happens to me. You know what would be really cool? If every week there was a movie that we asked uh, people to watch and then we could do a reviews as critic on the movie during the stream. Ooh, we could do movie night. We could start doing movie nights. That would be interesting. Oh my god. This song slaps, I agree. Dude, some of these are absolute bastards. It'll be worth it. I hope. Worst injury and how you got it. Okay. 
Um, I'd say my worst injury was when I was six. Uh, I busted my chin open. So there were these scooters. I don't know if anyone else has seen these. Um, I was at a birthday party and they had these scooters. It was like a gym slash playground. It was indoor. But it was good for birth. It was like a lot of birthday parties used to be there. So, um, one sec, let me. Oh my God, ow. Ow, my worst injury is my thumbs after this board. <laughs> it's my worst injury. Uh, the thing with four cat, no. Um, so it was four, it was three wheels and it was like, their seat was a triangle and then it had sort of like bike handles on the front. It was a floor scooter. And what you would do is you'd put your feet up and you would shift the, the bike handle side to side and that would propel you forward. Now, the thing was, these birthday parties, a lot of us, we would, uh, there was no rules at the time. Um, this is the story of how I got a rule made after me. Um, a lot of us would go on our knees and just push ourselves forward and we would cook it. So, um, on the front of these bikes, there were these rubber stops that you could kind of use as brakes if you would lean forward. So, we're, me and my friends, like, I think I was six, I was six years old at the time. Me and my friends are cooking it in circles around this gym, like, racing. And as I'm, like, like I said, I'm, I'm flying. I lean forward, I lean forward just a little too much, and the bumps hit the ground, I stop, it, the scooter stops in its tracks, and I yeet, like, like, Ralphie, like, Lois Griffin down the stairs, Ralphie through the window, yeet head first, and I, like, skid on the ground, chin first. I get up, and I remember looking at my, uh, my Thea Joanna, and she's, like, her jaws, like, drop, she's, like, are you okay? And I'm, like, yeah, I'm fine, what do you mean? And it's like the shock wore off and I felt the pain. I had a gash in my chin. I started screaming. I was losing it. Oh my God, it hurt so bad. I had to go to the hospital and get six stitches. I, we go back the next time and there's a rule saying you can't be on your, on your, you can't ride those scooters on your knees anymore. <laughs> that was probably, that was probably, that's probably the, the worst injury. I, I've been very lucky, uh, thankfully, and not had too many bad injuries. Glad you're good now though. You know, 20 years later, we're good. Yeah, but yeah, thankfully that's probably the worst. That's the worst injury I've had. Best birthday you ever had and what you got? Oh, it wasn't my birthday. I'll tell you, it wasn't my birthday. Finally healed after 20 years. I don't even know. You can probably still see. If I shave, you can probably still see the scar. You had a rule made because of you. It's an honor, honestly. Dude, if I go back there, it's game over. They're going to be like, oh shit, he's back. Um... I fractured my I fractured my finger my two pinkies once or my pinky and my ring finger when I was in middle school, that hurt pretty bad. Um, no cast, I just had a splint. Um, it just didn't feel good. Um, but no, I, I made it out pretty clear. I hurt my foot really bad a couple years ago in soccer. I got stomped on by a massive dude. That didn't feel too good. Having one in the middle of your forehead like me, dude, that's pretty badass though. Not many can say they have a rule made in their honor. I don't know if I don't know if it's an honor, but it's certainly a rule made. <laughs> like, what do I do? Put that on a resume? Story behind it? Not so much. I honestly wish I had a cooler rule made about me, but oh well. Like, have you guys seen How I Met Your Mother? The episode where Barney, where they're at the uh, the casino and Barney got the rule, the plaque made about no motor motorcycles on the casino floor. And top of top of the resume for sure. I go into a job, they hear me out. I had a rule made of me. Holy shit! This guy's this guy means business. Sign him up. What is the candy corn dildo thing in the upper left hand? So it is not a dildo, and it's not candy corn either. <laughs> Hello, Eight Pebble. Pleasure to have you here. Fantastic first question. This is a clay ghost um, I got in the London Art Museum. Um, you can actually get these online. This is from 2019, but they're supposed to watch over you. So I got one of me, one for me, and one for my sister. But it is not. It is not a dildo. It is a clay ghost. I had to spend only one hour emergency and had to get the best proxoid of the journey. Oh man. Ho Hobie, Hobie really said candy corn dinner. Candy corn dinner. Candy corn. Candy corn dildo. It's 
It's a way to break it. You're, he's definitely not the first person to ask if it's a butt plug or something like that. It's not the first time someone's asked. Anything can be a dildo if you put your mind to it. Can we get a shout out for Mr. Julian? <laughs> you bad lad. Wow, that, that's really what's bringing people out of the lurking to the chat. My my my, my not dildo ghost. That's what that's what's gonna bring y'all out of lurking. <laughs> oh. I sprained both my ankles real bad on two different occasions. Hey Pebble, thank you for following. It made a terrible mistake, but lucky for you, we like mistakes here. What purchase do you regret the most? Getting it uh, my first keyboard. Because it's opened up an absolute black hole for me and my wallet. But it's okay, because I like you guys, so it worked out in the end. Um, <laughs> what purchase do I truly... I don't... I don't ah. Every GMK set I'm in. <laughs> Most of the GMK sets I got in between September and... Uh, between September and uh, December. What can I say? I'm an expert conversationalist. Yeah, but how are you as a professional, you Googleizer? Um. Hello, Mr. Great Cla Clavier. 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 Always got to be something edgy to get the lurkers in. No kidding. I want a Tofu 65. Please change my mind. I won't. I think Tofu 65s are nice. Yeah, they're a starter board. Yeah, I'd say they're an entry-level board, but... I think they're a pretty damn good entry level board. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. If if you got a Tofu 65, I'd almost want to change your mind and tell you to get a KBD 75 that we're building now. I think it's better. I think it sounds better. And you get more out of it. Personally. Personally. Um, I do like... I, I think you, if you do a Tofu 65, you should just get a KBD 75. I think it's better, in my opinion. Um, KBD 67, like that too. That's another great option. Um... No, I think the tofu is a good board, and anyone who tells you different is, I don't know, what's their opinion? What am I going to say? Trying any extras releasing for Novel Keys tomorrow? Um, I'm going to try for the 7V, and know damn well I'm not going to get my hands on it, but I will certainly try. I really do, I really do want to build the 7V, um, so if anyone has a 7V that they want built on stream, hit me up. Um, but I will certainly be trying for the 7V, but like I said, I'm not having very high hopes. Is superior at all. No bias here. Don't know why you think that. <laughs> Listen, from someone who's built, I think this is my fifth or sixth KBD seventy five I built. Um, I have nothing but love for this board. I think it. I think it for the bang for your buck on this board is incredible. Because I highly regret not getting it on that. There you go. What time is the seven V extras coming out? I don't remember. Is it ten a.m.? Does anyone know what time the extras are coming out? I I can check the email. After I'm done snapping at switches. You cannot run from from your nightmares, Manoli. What's my worst fear? Just Honestly? From board, you put your fucking name in the gabagool of fire. Yeah, care to explain yourself, Kate? Eight months. Eight months you've been doing this shit. Putting your name in the gabagool of fire, sir. You have left me. Quite this cheesed, to say the least. Quite this cheesed, indeed. Eight months. You should know better by now, but you can, you insist to keep doing it. But honestly, lucky for you, I like you. So honestly, it's Cheddar doing business with you, sir. Thank you so much for eight months of continued support. I really appreciate it, my friend. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a crunched leg. Did you know the Germans who were... What? What are you talking about? Is this a bait? I know about all these. Yes, yes I know about all of these. This is a bait. All these, all these nuts in your face. Is that, is that what this is about to be? Is it like all, all these nuts in your face? Some shit like that? Cause I know Aldi. I do know the grocery store Aldi. I'm German. Explain. 
I've seen GMK Goblin, you know, you know, <laughs> Goblin on these nuts, boy. It stands for Aldi. Alright, I'm waiting. I'm not, pa I'm paranoid about baits because there usually are baits. I'm, I'm right about nine times out of ten. GMK is German manufactured keyboards. Fact. This is true. Stop by to say hi. Stop by to give me a kiss more like it. Mwah. Hello, kimchi. Fuck bitches take souls. I did take their soul. I forgot to message you. I took their souls before before stream. Did back in did back in shoulders today. I'm done talking to you all. I'm gonna stop reading chat for the rest of the stream. It's been fun, guys. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm officially done reading chat for the rest of the stream. I hope you guys I hope you guys had your fun. Hope it was worth it. God, come on. <sighs> How many subs would it take for you to to get fuck bitches take souls tatted on your forearm? Five million. Five million subs. I don't have a single tattoo, and that certainly will not be my first one. Yeah, you don't like reading chat? Let me help you out with that. <laughs> Emote only chat. Big brain. Are these all good? These are all snapped in properly. I believe they are. Yeah, big pain. <laughs> Julian, I love that emote so much. I don't know why. <sighs> Good God. Magentazel, thank you for following. Oh, that's a bet, Mike. Oh my God, kimchi. <laughs> not a cult explicitly saying not a cult I love the fire hands that is very funny oh yeah you're allowed to talk you're technically mod you are allowed you are allowed to talk is that anyone specific uh emotes or Apologies, by the way, I don't think I said hi to you before. I, I did see you say hello, so I hope you are uh, doing well during this wonderful, uh, this wonderful um, emote only portion of the uh, the chat. Oh, that is sideways. All right, we can turn off emote only now. It's been a minute. Oh, I'll die. Do, 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 do. Let me get back to your regular schedule programs. Chill sip. An absolute vibe of a sip. Sip champ. Ah, and then our last one. Have you ever broken a hot swap PCB sock while putting in a switch? Um, thankfully, no. Thankfully, no. That would stink. No more emote only. No more emote only. Hello, mister. Can we get a shout out for Mr. VR? Uh, it is so I got this I got this after seeing tiny makes things um, they are just rubber thimbles um, and they ha I only I don't use them that often anymore um, but I specifically use them for switches like like black inks a lot of the time and then glorious pandas especially they're really tight housing and they take a lot of pressure to push into the plate and it literally hurts my thumbs pushing them in so that kind of helps take away the soreness of pushing a, a switch in um, it's really just for Ease of, I guess, comfort. Delicious finky condoms. Put a thumb condom on your nose. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bits.
I look like Usopp when I do this. I look like God Usopp. Let me see if I can hit the stick. I am God Usopp. Brave warrior of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me a sec, give me a sec. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 you need to stick, you need to stick to this. Come on. Oh, it doesn't want to stick. I put tape on. I am God Usopp, brave warrior of the sea. King, the, the Soge King, King Sniper from Sniper Island. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You are welcome to do with this what you will. Is this what I... <laughs> I need to save this for an emote eventually. Usopp Noli. How dare you mock the kid. You think I'm mocking him? I'm paying my... I'm paying homage. I'm respecting him. Big difference. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That's gotta... That's gonna be an emote. God... God Usopp. Noli. <laughs> Soj Noli. <laughs> Oh my god, that is funny. That is very funny. Tape on rubber is usually a no go. Eh, give it a shot. I'm not going to be doing glue. I'm not a total psychopath. Have you ever seen Usopp and Manoli in the same room? Just saying, this is true. This is true. No one's ever seen me and Usopp in the same room both together. Nah, super glue that shit and go to the job interview. 500 subs, no cap. 500, 500 subs. Five, if, if you donate 500 subs right now, I will super glue that to my to my notes for the rest of stream. <laughs> I will go full, full, full Dollar Tree Usopp, uh, full Dollar Tree Usopp um, cosplay. For 500 subs right now. <laughs> I will risk. I have, I, I have dinner tonight. And I will still do it. <laughs> Bonk kimchi. If you don't stick your thumb. Oh god. Oh god kimchi. Get the hammer. Is also considering dropping 500 subs. Super glue that shit. Only $2,500. Last time you asked for 500 subs was for a mage stream. This is true. Ma mage, mage stream at some point. Now that I have a job secured, ma mage stream at some point, I'm sure. I'm a little... Uh, now Now I'm not on the job hunt anymore. That's pretty much the main reason I didn't do mage stream. Yo. Jiggly boy. Big sip. Anyone want to buy me a board board off me so I can get 500 subs? Okay, gonna make my protein shake. There you go. been like three months i know i know and i have apologized thoroughly to uh snow to snow uh zoo and uh sarad i have apologized thoroughly and let them know my situation and they were very kind and very understanding trust me when i tell you i felt incredibly guilty i, I hope you guys understand that
God, I love the look of a white PCB. I do. I, I definitely prefer, I think, like, like I love, like, blue PCBs. I think are really fun. I like any color PCB, honestly. Um, I think it's hard for to beat a nice matte or even glossy black uh, PCB. Uh, but the white is very nice. Job security is better than mainstream, I guess, <laughs> for now. Funny part about watching your streams is no matter how late I will stay, I will wake up normally, but if I don't watch, I'll get up all wonky. Am I, am I just your coffee? Is that what you're saying? Am I your melatonin? I do appreciate you always showing up, Black Amber. I know it's uh, I know it's generally uh, very late for you, especially in your time zone. Um, so thank you for being here. I do appreciate. It. I I I thoroughly enjoy your company as well as everyone else's, of course. I, I I don't think honestly, and I think any I think any small streamer will agree with this. I don't think there's many better feelings in stream than when chat is active, because that helps us get through the stream. Like I love talking to you guys, and it's. It's always very helpful when chat's active because one, it makes time go by faster. It's kind of like less awkward for us. It's always nice when things are going. You're my little pog champ. Honey, thank you for the 100 bitch. You need to do that, Mr. Q. Love you, brother. Yeah, guys, please. Please, please, uh, guilt Mr. High IQ to get back into streaming, guys. He is a good friend. He was actually my second keyboard client ever. Fun fact. Um, but we love Mr. Mr. High IQ, Mr. Aaron. Um, please, please show the man some love. You put your fucking name in the Kane. The fuck? Why? Why would you do that? Disrespectful in Black Air Force activity, sir, upon you. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Mr. Dang Dynasty. I'm planning my comeback. Good. Active chat goes a long way. It's insane. It really does. It, that means more to me than any any subs. Like, subs are cool and all, but, like, followers are cool. But, dude, when chat's, act when, when chat's active, it's... It's semi -fique. We love our favorite Greek. We love you. Giuseppe Stromboli, you put your fucking name in the Big club, Clavier. Fine. Dude, what the fuck? I just finished, I just finished reprimanding Kane. I just finished reprimanding Kane and you're gonna do that. What, where do you get off? What makes you think that's okay? Now it's 69% on 69. Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable, sir. I just ask that you be better. Thank you. Thank you for the gift and sub, sir. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Uh, I remember when I thought I borked my TGR Alice PCB and it was just quiet. <laughs> Thank you for the 69 bits, Mr. Q. My guy, what is that? What is what? Nah, fuck you. Take my money. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Apparently, I've been sitting on some biddies. Ooh. Like finding money in your pocket. Kinda. I think. I don't really know. Oh my. I'm super excited to hear how this board sounds. I think it's gonna sound fantastic. We got some PBT keycaps too, which I always like. I love I love the creaminess of PBT. I was speaking of PBT, I was just talking about this with basic yesterday. Um, I can't, it's, it's looking like a December ship date. Hopefully it doesn't get pushed back, um, but I'm super excited for, um, what's it called? Uh, my CRP sets to come in. Very excited. 
Manoli are meeting up with Sam? I told him. I told him, dude. I'm like, come to, I'm like, dude, come to New York. Because he's just 30 minutes. He's like 30, 40 minutes from the city. I'm like, dude, come to New York and like, let's go get dinner. Or like, we can just like meet up or something, man. We literally live like pretty close to each other. I was like talking with VR about this too. Like, VR is looking to move back to the city. And uh, I think it'd be pretty fun to just like meet everybody in general. Um, but dude, we're in New York. Like everyone in Cali hangs out. Why can't why can't us East Coasters, our, us Beast Coasters, hang out? I love linears myself. I like both. Um, I don't like I don't like all linears and I don't like all tactiles. And I'm the same. I don't I don't hate all linears and I don't hate all tactiles. I I, I have an affinity for both switches for sure. I don't I don't personally buy into Team Linear. I'm team. I always say I'm Team Switzerland. I don't buy. I don't buy into Team Linear or Team Tactile. I am a I am Team Switzerland. I am a fan of both. <laughs> Inks and Mark 65 Pargan Kyrie Case and Wiki Cap is my favorite build. Ooh, I like I do like Poly. I've recent very I found out very recently I love Polycarp plates. They are so good. Inks and Polycarp are straight. Durak stabs lube it all up. Oh baby. How do you like the Mark 65? I was considering getting in on it, but I didn't like that it was only hot swap, so I passed unfortunately. Um, but I think the board itself looked very nice. But I'm gonna have to do to buy more of each to really decide which ones I prefer. I hear you. I guess one really bad. I see. I see. I um no, I definitely like like both. Like I'd say my favorite switch is probably I'll say probably alpacas. Are probably my favorite switch. Um the way they get sound feel all around I love. Um I do like creams. Um what the? What the? Peril Tom MKB with the braid of party of nine. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Guys, my name is Vinoli. I build mechanical keyboards. I do mechanical keyboard content on YouTube and Instagram. And I have big caps. Welcome to the stream. We're building a KVD 75 V2 with glorious pandas. Thank you so much for the rave. Uh, Peril Tom, am I pronouncing that correctly? Let me know if not. Um, but yeah, guys, welcome. Like I said, we are currently building a KV75 V2 with Glorious Pandas on a brass plate. We're a little over halfway through soldering. Shouldn't be much longer. Got like, what, two more rows? Two more rows. How was your stream? What were you doing on stream? Straight, better looks at things. Let's just be sure. It's pretty good to me. Yeah, all these look pretty good. Yo, yo, yo. I want an acrylic poly case with ink V2s. That looked really nice. Jim K redacted. I passed on it, but that is a cool looking set. I tried only reds a little and I liked it. I uh, missed a little feedback, so I'm between linear is good, tactiles only if they're slightly tactile. I see. I was looking some gat yellows for a build from KP Republic. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, oh, there we are. Yeah, we're on our last two rows here. We should be done in just a few minutes. And then we can put this bad boy back together. How many switches will I have left? Ah, whatever's in here plus the two that I haven't moved. Um, I'll count them in a bit. Um, but whatever's in there, pretty much whatever's in there, and then I have the two that I left two stock for you. Uh, cause at your request. Uh, 
a BM60 poker version. I was trying to build the cheapest board possible. Interesting. Yeah, I'm personally, I'm personally more preference like, when it comes to the budget, like the entry level Gatorons. I'm more, um, I have more of a preference toward Gatoron Blacks, but I think they're all pretty nice. I think Lou Gatoron Blacks get are your most bang for your buck switch. You get the value for the price, um, and then the feel after you lube and film them. It's that that value is insane. So more than twenty, I might experiment with making a number pad. That'd be fun. Let's see here: two, two, four. Six, eight, and 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Looks like about 22 switches. That that might be wrong. Yeah, Gap Blacks are also really nice. I agree. Yeah, um, that count might be off, but it looks like roughly 22 switches. Which I think most number pads are 24, but I could be wrong. sweetness uh what one do you have this is the so this is a number pad but i made it all on you this is the macro one by laneware studios they were kind enough to send me this out to build and review um in the group i did end on this this is a very pricey macro pad it's a gasket mounted macro pad which is on its own just hilarious but uh it is a very nice macro pad very very luxury um i have built the kbd pad before which i love um i think that's a great uh i actually did the same thing on that on my original and made it all one you um, I think that is a great, uh, a great macro pad and number pad gets in general. It's a very nice quality. Uh, let me make sure we're looking good here. Everything is flush. Looks like it. This looks like it might not be totally straight. Let's reheat this. That looks better. Um, everything else look good. Nothing kind of sticking up. Nothing like that. Y'all good down there? Test out our pad. Let's test out our board to make sure. The image that I'm working out is cursed as fuck. What do you What do you mean? You're talking about my this cheese mat? Talking. What do, you, what do you mean? You think this is cursed? Why would you say such a thing? I think it's a high end. I think it's a high end. Uh, Baba boy. Macro pad. Let's. Here, uh... Why is it not showing? Let's see. I don't know why it's not. Well, that's strange. Hmm. Baba Bowie. Okay, it's definitely. I don't know why V is not registering. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Very strange. Scared me for a second, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Thank you for the 20 bits, Mr. Maker Jake. Yeah, this is a quality stream. Hey, thanks for the kind words. I appreciate it. I'm 
Nice. And everything is working properly. I was nervous for a second. I don't blame you. Yeah, that was very strange. I don't know why that uh, that happened. Ah, let's do a little cleanup. Turn over soldering iron and put it back. Over here. Uh, where's the little baggie that this came in? That this comes in right there. Hmm, he says. Hmm. What are your thoughts on this build, sir? Wrap up our mat now. And then, get out our board. This is all trash, we don't need any of this anymore. Case foam. Our screws. I was wondering, these are our cased silver colorway. Let's flip it around, we'll stick our bum bombs on. Oh yeah. I'm going for Choco Mint Latte Heat. So keycaps with cream, or cream and a hint of cyan. Uh, with the case being chocolate brown. Nice. here for now. Let's peel off this acrylic. I think I'm gonna get some espresso soon. Oh, very nice. If you want to bring me some, Mr. Mr. High IQ, I would not say no. I would not say no. Peel time, baby. This will look good. Peel ASMR. <laughs> he said, fight. Terrible end peel, but. Polycarb half plate? No, 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 no. This is just an acrylic diffuser layer uh, for the RGB. This is probably the most scuffed acrylic peel I've seen. I owned it, about, I pretty much owned that this was going to be scuffed about halfway through it. Hey, do Mr. Tim Keyless. Long time no see. Man, hey, Tim, why don't you give yourself a shout out? You can do that. Guys, if you didn't know, Tim was on my podcast yesterday, Noli and Friends. We talked a lot about coffee. Whoa, shouting out Manoli visuals. What the? Guys, go follow Tim Keyless. It was a hot podcast episode. I agree. Tim was looking kind of, I'm not going to lie, Tim was looking kind of down, I was kind of down bad for Tim yesterday, I don't know about you guys, I was a little down bad for Tim yesterday. Oh, this is a pretty, this is a pretty good peel on my end, I'm not going to lie to y'all. 
Oh, that was a good peel. Oh, I did good there. Before I can do that, I do need to get out this case foam. It fits. Um, interesting. They changed the case foam. Um, it looks like they changed it to be a little more fitting. No, this is correct. Uh, it looks like they changed it though. It used to be different. Um, probably because the last one was a little too big. Um, no, this is the this is definitely the correct foam. screws so these are our screws for the build right, I'm gonna move you over here I don't know what to do with all this excitement there do, there do be a lot of excitement going around try to get this lined up nice place our board No, we don't want the acrylic layers being too out of proportion, if you will. There we go. Make a Jake opinions on DSA DN. <laughs> DSA D's nuts coming soon. Set of the year. Better than Hander Bite. Heard it here first, better than hand bite. I'm walking them through stream. That, wait, what? That's what one of my sponsors got, I'm walking them through streaming, steaming milk right now. Coming soon, TM. If you have a link for, for DSA DN, let me know. There's an actual link, I'll look at it. Jiggly boy, I missed ones I found like a caveman. Huh? Send you a render. Oh god. Is this a set that you're making, Mr. Maker Jake? Did you make cold brew in the fridge yet? I am ten I've done it before. I just started I thought I had read well I had read somewhere that it was it's better to make cold brew outside of the fridge. Um so I've been doing that for a while, but no, I actually ran out of cold. This is the last of my cold brew right here. Um so I'm gonna be doing it in the fridge this time. Oh my days, this is terrible. This is terrible. And not because of the end, because it's a 40s, it's because it's a 40s build. That's why it's terrible. Because you know what we say, kids? Fuck 40s. Have you ever had coffee from the Mealy countertop machine? I don't even know that. I've never heard of that. I feel like I'm learning so much. Um, looks like just the center one, and then we are all screwed in. Nice. Looks like we're all good here, kids. All that's left to do, place our case on top, and leap. A red be added soon. Oh God. Maker Jake. You could do so much with your powers and instead you use them for evil. I have some bad news. Oh god, what? Shorties are good only if we're talking about height. Five four. Five five guy, I feel you. Oh no, why? Is this a, is this a, is this an actual? 
Oh no! Oh no! What happened? Oh no, that's so sad. Well, for one, I hope he's alright. That's such a shame. I hope he's alright, but... Now nah, he's doing God's work. <laughs> oh man, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen going on definite hiatus for the manga. At least the anime has time to catch up. <laughs> sad. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I hope he's... I do hope he's alright. That's a shame, but damn, man. That's a bummer. Well, at least the anime has time to catch up. Do you read mangas? I do not. Uh, I pretty much only, I pretty much only watch anime. Um, just because I've tried reading manga and I just can't get into it like I do anime, so I'd rather watch things be animated. I don't know, maybe I'm smooth brain, but I, I definitely prefer to uh, to watch. I don't know how to read. Uh, let me try to get these extra screws in here. Oh god. Coward, good morning. At 2 p.m. your time, good morning. How are you doing, honey? Give a shout out for Miss Coward, please. The wonderful coward. That is a shame, though. Oh. <sighs> we do have our keycaps. This is great background noise for doing work. You did great work, man. Cody, or Code Viper. Thank you. I take a lot of pride in my playlist. Thank you. I'm vibing. Are you? Are you now? Mm, short shift. This is going to be a loud board. Consider GMK Evil Eye keycap set I designed. It'd be super poggers of you. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Have you seen the Lego typewriter set? Have they released it? I saw the I did see the um the trailer for it, I should say. Um, have they released it? Uh, cause I'm definitely gonna buy it and build it on stream. That looks really fun. If, if it's a working keyboard, that looks really fun. Just send me a TikTok of Teabag being hanged after brewing. I found it very cruel. What the? Wait, these caps are nice. What are they? Mr. King Ito, if you'd like to, uh, share with the class what keycaps these are. Uh, that the set is a release. Ooh, send a link. Send the link if you do not mind. I would like to see Ebot, thank you for following. I appreciate it.
Mint is the way. Let me see this. $200, goddammit. <laughs> Ugh, 200 buckaroos, but damn it, man. Is this a working keyboard? There's no way, right? This is cool. Yeah, it is not a working keyboard. I think you can hit- wait, it does? Wait, it does? Hello, Misuki. Can we get a shot from Misuki Slice? Move left to right as you type on working keys. Take a letter, feed a sheet of paper into a brick-built platen roller. This is so cool. A vintage touch. I don't think it actually works, but that is really cool. There from Z Frontier. You can type on it, yeah. But can, okay, but can you connect to your control? Like, can I connect it and can I do work? Can I do monkey type on it? Is my question. That is that is the real question. Can I use monkey type on it? It doesn't print, but it works mechanically. That is cool though. Oh, whoops, I think I'm gonna move them down actually. Great display piece, I agree. I forgot. Because escape guy has to go top right. Silly boy. find you. I'm gonna have to fix short shift. It's a little. Is it crooked? It's a little crooked. I'm gonna have to fix short shift. I should have checked that before, but oh well. Oh, wait. Oh no. Oh, never mind. We're good. I'm like, is there not a step cap? I'm like, oh no. That's no good. We, we good. One, two, three, four. Are these KBD caps? These are from Z Frontier. I've been using the DEX feature on my Samsung device more than I thought I would. It can be where, uh, used wirelessly, Bluetooth, everything. Interesting. Before setting it. Ah, oh, you're all good. The bags work fine. It's fine. It just takes a little longer to get everything situated, but... We can make it work. I swear some people ship keycaps and rock tumblers. <laughs> this is a jigsaw puzzle when caps are not in trays. Ah, uh, ain't the best. It's fine though. We smart, we can figure it out. 
Because then you start going on a roll and you really find everything. And isn't that just the isn't that just the best? Because once you kind of get on a roll, it's pretty easy. Mackies, thank you for following. Lucky for them, I love jigsaw puzzles. Me, who has never completed a jigsaw puzzle because I get impatient. Superior. G. This is very strange. It so it comes with <laughs> it comes with a bump. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Nope, never mind. I'm dumb. Don't listen to me. Y'all didn't hear anything. Bright colors blowing out my my rods and cones. So pretty. I agree. How are you doing, Mr. Thurman Goat? Insert. Do we have a big delete? Um, doesn't look like it. So we'll just make it home. I'll do Windows Japanese. down page up pause and then we'll just make small delete uh, nope not small delete end there we go and then for the piece they resist on it doesn't really fit the theme, but fuck it. I actually sold this to, to, to Mr. King back like months ago, back in like October or so. But ooh, looks like this thing got some some use. This uh, Arrowhead Boy brass keycap, one of one of five, four or five technically. Ooh, looks like you got some wear and tear on this bad boy, but very very shiny. It'll. Oh my god, sounds sick. Yeah, this board sounds fun. This is gonna be a good time. Nice, all right. Um, I'll put this bag in here, but we'll put the rest in here. The last escape bender. Let me put 
put the last of these away. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix uh, left right shift. I was kind of afraid of this. Uh, right shift is right shift is a little crooked. Um, it's not interfering with anything, thankfully. But I'm just gonna have to heat it up. I'll do that off stream though, so I don't have to worry about it now. Um, I am gonna have to adjust it just slightly, um, just to make it even. Put this away. Yeah. This is our build. Very pretty. This looks great, man. How does it sound? Let's get this bad boy plugged in. Baba Booey. Just uh, set the mood. Get that RGB going. Um, Let's get our prediction bot going. Guys. How fast will I type? We're gonna bump it up to 98 because I've been winning a lot recently. Will I, you have two minutes to place your channel points. Will I type 98 words per minute and above or 97 words per minute and below? 98 words per minute and above or 97 words per minute and above? Bet your hard earned channel points. Baba boy. Let me get everything set up here. Yep. I'm probably around a minute now, maybe a little over a minute to uh, set your channel points. How it works, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new here, I have up till 20 seconds and unlimited retries. I love coming back to dark mode Manoli, of course. You know why? Because we get, you may get dark mode Manoli, but you get, uh, you know what? Here, 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 just so we get a little light on me. We can do, uh, we can get best of both worlds. We can get that RGB glow through and Dark Manoli, but not so aggressive. There you go. It's like 25%. Just a couple more seconds. We got a lot of believers in the house. Smart bets, smart money's on the low on betting low. Oh, bet all my channel points. I hope it pays off for you. I really do. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the KBD 75 V2 by KBD fans. 75% keyboard with glorious Panda tactiles lubed with 3203, 105 on springs on a brass plate with Z Frontier. I don't know what these keycaps are, but they're pretty. Teal, teal Japanese keycaps on a brass plate. May the words per minute gods be ever in your favor. This is a sound test. Let's begin. Like I said, I get unlimited retries up until 20 seconds, uh, up, up until 40 seconds. After 40 seconds, I must, up until the 40 second mark, I must uh, commit.
Uh, uh. Imagine not believing it couldn't be me. Imagine not believing it could not be me. Imagine not believing it could not be me. Here are the mods. Congratulations to our winners. Got a notepad. That's that that aluminum that uh, brass whatever this is escape sounds insane. The number row sounds insane. This isn't even competitive anymore. I was hitting, the thing was I was doing 97 and I was losing like three in a row. I've been on a hot streak. Uh, but I think you might be right. I think it might be time to bump it up to 100. Brother, you're going to keep your entire house awake with this board, let me tell you. I'm so happy with it. Thank you. I'm glad. No, I think this came out really well. Let's do another sound test here. I'll tell you what, it's definitely clacky. It feels good. I like it. This is a, definitely a snappy tactile, which I always approve of. I'm definitely a big fan of uh, snappy. Did you mod the stabs in any way? I did 205 grade zero on the um, on the housing and the stems and then just dielectric grease along with plugging the butt. Um, no band-aid mods of the sort. Um, besides that, nothing crazy. No holy mod. I haven't tried the holy mod in general yet. 
can't possibly lie to them. I carry a keyboard. I've got a Razer keyboard. It's insanely loud. If you got like blue equivalent or what are they greens? I I agree with you. There's no way. Um, turn the lights back up here. No, I'm really happy with this sound. I think this sounds really nice, man. I think this. Uh, I think this came out. Yeah, the green. The greens I think are their cl clicky equivalent. They're loud. They are definitely loud, boys. Um, dude, the number row sounds crazy. That sounds nuts. Giuseppe Strombo, you put your fucking name in the Gabagool of Fire? Konami. 11 months. Almost a year you've been doing this shit. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. I'm just kidding, I love you. Thank you so much, Konami. I actually was in your stream yet last night and I forgot to do it. I was on the phone with someone and I wasn't I wanted to click it and wave, but I'll get you next time. Thank you so much, Konami. I love you. It's not annoying a lot at all. It's satisfying. No, it, it I think this is definitely a good clack. It's very clacky for sure. Um eh, There we go. Yeah, I think this board uh I think this board came out very nice. Uh let's turn off the monitor. There we go. Um yeah, I like this a lot. Guys, please follow Konami as well. Um, yeah, man. I think you're going to be really happy with this. It feels great. I don't know if I've ever used like, snappy or tactiles, like actual snappy tactiles, but this it feels fantastic if you're a fan. Um, you'll find out soon if you love it, I suppose, after I send it back. I'll probably get this back out to you early next week. Uh, I'm going to finish recording some sound. I need to record sound tests and get some photos of this and some other boards. Honestly, if we're lucky, I might be able to get this back out Friday. Um, I'll keep you posted. Um, but yeah. I, I really do like this. Ooh. No. There we go. Yeah, this uh this came out well though, man. Uh, um, obviously, I'll be sure to send you back these separate so you can uh, do as you will. You got plenty of that. Cause is it going to end up on TikTok? Probably not. No offense. And it's nothing towards you. I just don't really make. I like barely even making TikToks and especially keyboard related ones. Um, it'll definitely end up on my Instagram though. Um, I'm definitely gonna make a sound test for this. I think this board is definitely worthy of its own sound test. Um, it's a it's a beaut, man. I love the I love the uh, the Miami the Miami colorway. It feels like I do love it, man. But yeah, guys, thank you. Um, I appreciate y'all being here. This is a blast. As always, it's a very fun stream. Um, I'm trying to think what's going on. Uh, we're pretty much gonna like wrap up here. Uh. Yeah, this is fun, man. Jake, thank you for, uh, or Jack, I'm sorry. Thank you for letting me build this, man. I appreciate it. You know, match my desk mat. Well, ooh, very nice. You have to set, you have to, you have to put some picks and keep showcase when this is done, uh, when you get the board back. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. 3 p.m. stream, we're gonna do, so we might play games. I might, I, I don't, I have no idea. We might, we might just do keep chores, might leave some switches for the hell of it. Um, I guess, honest to God, I haven't gotten that far. I still have no idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank y'all for being here. I really, uh, I appreciate it as always. Seriously, it, it means the world that you guys chat with super active today. And that is always my favorite thing. Um, this board came out fantastic. Always a fan of these. Thank you for streaming. Don't let always get good time, Shuki, honey. I'm about to start streaming again. We miss you. Thank you for being here, Shuki. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, guys, I, uh, hopefully we can, uh, can keep the, the good times rolling. I think we're gonna go raid Mr. Jinte Boy. Homie, homie is back streaming. I feel like we raided him. Re I mean, we may have already raided him, but regardless, uh, we're gonna go raid the boy Jinte. Fellow keep streamer, good friend. We love him. Looks like he's building two boards. Some ah, of course he's building a forty when I raid him. Um, yeah, we're gonna go show Jinte some love. Um, please go, please go say hello to him. Send him my love. I'll be in there with you watching. Um, follow him if you don't. He's a fantastic streamer, makes crazy builds. I love, I hope he starts posting sound tests on YouTube again. I love his sound tests. It's very simple, very satisfying. Um, and yeah, have a good day, man. Hello, Mr. Can we get a quick shout out for JC, uh, before we, we raid here? Guys, if you haven't, please go follow Mr. Jason JC. Another fantastic keyboard builder, content creator. Guy makes, dude, you want to talk about good content creator, keyboard content creators on TikTok? Follow Mr. JC. Guy's fantastic. Um, 
But yeah, thank you all for being here. This is an exciting build. I loved it. Um, I'll be in touch with you, man, about getting this board back out to you. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow around 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, and yeah, as always, cheers, my friends. Go show Mr. Jinte Boy some love from me. I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow. Bye, guys.